The Girl in the Spider's Web is the soft reboot slash sequel to the David Fincher film Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Based on characters created in, from the original book series by Steve Larson, based on the novel The Same Name by David Lagenkratz, directed by Fede Alvarez, stars Clara Foy, Severa Gunnarsson, Sylvia Hoax, Stephen Merchat, and the plot of this movie is now we follow Elizabeth Salander, played by Claire Foy, taking over for Rooney Mara. And she is rescuing and is acting vengeance for battered women. Also, another plot is that Franz Balder, he is fired from the National Security Agency. And he recruits Elizabeth to steal a computer program called Firewall that can access codes for nuclear weapons worldwide. The download soon draws attention from an NSA agent who traces it to Stockholm, Sweden. Further problems arise when the Russian thugs take her la Elizabeth's laptop and kidnap a map whiz who can make Firewall work. So now Elizabeth and the unlikely ally, which of course Mikhail and another character, they have to race against time to save the boy and recover the um, recover firewall and this coast to avert disaster. But also at the same time, she has to deal with the whole conflict with her sister, of course, Camilla Samander, who is played by Sylvia Hoax, who Elizabeth thought to be dead, but Elizabeth decided to run away, but we we do see what happened in her past when they were, were children. So, she basically is a part of the whole conspiracy. The Girl in the Spider's Web it's not better than the David Fincher film. It's not a bad film either. But I don't think it's that bad of a film. Now, am I saying the film is perfect? Not in any way, shape, form, or size because I do have some problems that goes on with this film. For one, I do kind of I do miss Daniel Craig as Mikel Blancovitz because the guy who plays Mikel in this movie, he does fine in the role, but I just can't help but feel the same impression as I do with the, the Elizabeth Salander character this time around. I do wish Daniel Craig and Rooney Mara came back for this movie. And I do kind of wish David Fincher returned to do the film, but originally they were going to do the other two books. The Girl Who Played With Fire and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. But that didn't really work out and then Sony decided to jump on the soft reboot train and still do a sequel. But... Again, the guy who plays Mikhail Blancovitz, he's okay, but it could you could easily got Daniel Craig back. He wasn't doing another James Bond movie after Spectre, so I don't know. Also, another problem is that for an hour and 55 minutes, I'm not going to say this movie is boring, but I will say certain moments in here they just didn't really need to be here but I'll gladly say that some of that Fede Alvarez he know he what he was doing he is a good director I love his direction in the Evil Dead remake I know John Avenger 7195 hates that film it's okay we all have different tastes and I will say that 
I love his direction in the move for the movie Don't Breathe. His directing here is is serviceable. It's not that bad, but he does have moments of giving action. And there are moments in the script, which is also co-written by him and a couple of other writers, that does get, give us some new interesting things. Acting-wise in the film is pretty good. Besides the guy playing Mikhail Blankovist, everyone, he, he does fine for what he's given. I just wish it was Daniel Craig, but he's not bad. Clara Foy, she's not better than Numi Rapace or Rooney Mara, but she she brings in her own interpretation. Then we got the gorgeous Sylvia Hoax in here, who I've loved Silva, Sylvia Hoax ever since Blade Runner 2049. And I'm being honest and truthful when I say that. Because she, she's great in this movie as the sister, Camilla. Now, I'm not going to spoil the very much because it's not, I can't, I don't want, I will say you do need to watch the film for yourself to see how it is. And the rest of the cast is pretty good, too. Um, the action and the cinematography and the way the movie looks and the editing and the score, the here is very very well done still got practical locations it still still looks really cool the the intense moments here are also pretty good too but like i said the problems i do have there are some moments that didn't really need to be there also sometimes the script can feel like it's all over the place and of course like I said, the one who plays Mikhail, while he is good in the film, I just felt like it could have been, you could have just brought back the two original leads from the David Fincher movie and it, and David Fincher directing, but I guess that's how it works. But overall, I don't mind the girl in the spider's web. I will add this to my film collection. I will add the original Swedish trilogy to my collection. And I'll add the David Fincher film in my collection. I even I even love the books. I haven't read The Girl in the Spider's Web, but I have read the original three books. And the original three books are really cool. Really cool. And they're good reads. But as for the girl in the spider's web, I will I'm gonna be generous because I enjoy myself here. Like I say, it's not better than the other films, but they did, they tried. It's not an awful film. And it's definitely not one of the worst movies of the year. So I'm going to give it a highly recommend it. Let me know what you guys think of The Girl in the Spider's Web down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What is your favorite Millennium book? It can be this the book that this movie is based on or any of the original books what is your favorite millennium film from the either the Swedish trilogy the girl in the spires web which is this movie or the David Fincher film from 2011 who do who do you think felt played Elizabeth Salander and Mikhail Blomkvist the best Numi Rapace and the late um, Michael Nivgis in the Swedish trilogy, Daniel Craig and Rooney Mara in the American version, or Clara Foy or Severa Goddansson in this film. Me personally, for all three of those questions, my favorite book out of the book series is The Girl Who Played With Fire. My favorite film in this Millennium Dragon Tattoo series is the 2011 film. My favorite actors to play, Elizabeth and Mikhail, are of course Rooney Mara and Daniel Craig. Do you think this movie's underrated? Do you think it's overrated? Do you think you're in between? Do you like it? Tell me all that good stuff. Let's continue the road to 1K subscribers. Be sure to follow on my social media links to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. 
letterbox yada yada and i will see you guys in the next video you guys keep it cool let's continue the road to 1000 subscribers